as coaches, we're pretty confident when it comes to speed training and jump training, and we take our athletes through progressions and they learning it faster. The problem is we don't teach the triple jump, so then they never really improve. They just get stronger and faster. Here is a way to help teach your athletes to help be a well-rounded athlete. So the first part is an exchange motor skill, which teaches an athlete the positions and how it feels and how much work it takes to get into each position. And as you get detail-oriented, they will become the same type of person. The four-step hop to jump touch drill, this reinforces the halfway point and hovering over the hurdle. As you can see, this athlete tends to kick back, which takes away from her total hop distance. This athlete tends to be too high, which causes a lot of bad things, which is, this is one, a braking mechanic, which is too hard and you can't get out of your next phase. But as you keep working on it, you'll notice that he starts to hover in those positions and just becomes more trusting in his movement. Same thing here. Aaliyah does a good job with hovering over the hurdle, and she accelerates and gets her hop phase further. Kyra, same thing. She's getting further, and I had to actually back them up and create a further distance for their hop. Same thing here with Jazz. She's looking at a 12 to 13 foot hop phase from, from a short approach. Then you add more speed by adding two more steps and trying to reinforce those same mechanics of staying in position. As you can see, it's consistent, so then you can move on to the next drill very soon. Same thing with the Leah, very consistent. The next one is the six step hop to step hold drill with the touch. The touch is the hurdle, the hold is here, holding that position through the step phase. This will be needed in the very future when you start getting to the full triple jump. holding that position. Now the six step triple with touch just keeps them disciplined with hovering over the hurdle. But you can see here she brings that leg back. So that leg back shortens her total distance. She should be at 12 feet. And you can see the step phase, the rhythm's off, and she can't complete her jump. Same thing here. She kicks the leg back, gets to her step phase and just can't finish it because the rhythm is off because we reinforced a rhythmic jump. But once you understand it, you can see there's a lot of distance that can be traveled. Here they're going from a 32 board, slight foul, but takes her time, hovers, gets to a great step phase, and then the jump phase, landing around the 34 or 35 foot range. Same concept here. They're both fouling, but they're hitting the positions over the takeoff getting to a good step phase, launching off, and then getting the height that's needed for the jump phase. So we're going to keep working, but the goal is stay patient and let the athletes develop these motor skills.